what is electric power function and its distribution and electric line fault reduction system using scatter come let's go so what is scatter So SCADA is the acronym for Supersec Control and Data Acquisition, a computer system for gathering and analyzing real-time data. SCADA systems are used to monitor and control a plant or equipment in industries such as telecommunications, water and waste control, energy and oil and gas refining and transportation. So what are the features of SCADA? Intelligent Alarming Intelligent and combinational techniques for filtering alarms are provided so that only important alarms are presented to the operator and web connectivity. Casual users can have access to the system displays and data via internet web interface. SCADA study mode. Previously saved real-time snapshot sets can be reloaded and viewed on tabular single end diagrams. And SCADA payback. Monox SCADA allows the capture and live payback of real-time system data and events. So, what are the advantages of SCADA? The SCADA system provides facilities to a large amount of data. The data can be displayed in various formats as per the requirements. It provides interface to connect thousands of sensors across wide region for various monitoring and controlling operations. And also, it is possible to obtain real data simulations with the help of operators. So, what are the issues of SCADA? Here are a few most common uses of SCADA systems. They are manufacturing, food product and electric, gas utilities, waste for treatment, telecom and information technology, traffic control systems, space researches, etc. There are many applications involving SCADA. And now let's see how a SCADA system works. The SCADA system involves sensors, RTUs, cloud communications, HMI and SCADA master. The first one sensors. Sensors are the electronic devices that senses and directs the physical parameters in the environment. There are many sensors available. They are temperature sensors, eye sensors, cavity sensors and LED sensors. And the second one RTU. RTU is called as remote terminal unit. It is a unit where all the sensors are connected together so that, that RTU can be connected to the computer. The RTU acts as an interface between the sensors and the computer systems. And the third one, cloud communications. Cloud communications is like the internet where all the information is stored so that the SCADA can access them. And the fourth one, SCADA master. SCADA master can also be called as the control room or the operating center for the SCADA operations to take place. And the fifth one, HMI. HMI is called as human machine interface which is an interface which connects a person to a machine or a SCADA system or a PLC and now let's see how a SCADA system works through a SCADA program through this SCADA program you can see our electric power production and the distribution and also electric power distance system takes place this SCADA program has a security feature so that only required persons can enter the system. This SCADA program is called as Electric Power Production and Distribution. This is a nuclear power plant and this nuclear power plant consists of nuclear reactor. As the system is turned on, the pump pumps the water from the water tank into the nuclear reactor. Inside the nuclear reactor, there is a uranium U35 fuel rod which reacts with a neutron and it causes a nu nuclear fission. This nuclear fission reaction causes a huge amount of heat energy to be released. This huge amount of heat energy released vaporizes the water and the water passes through a steam turbine which rests the rotor and it produces the electricity. This works on the principle of Faraday's electromagnetic induction. As you can see that how the process works. Here all the operations are continuously and carefully monitored. Here the generator produces electricity and the produced electricity is passed through the transformer. Here the transformer steps up or steps from the voltage of the current.
Here the produced current is of three phase and is passed through the transmission lines. The transmission lines in turn reach the other transformers in other substations. From other substations, the current reaches houses, industry areas, airports, hospitals, etc. And this cat supply is called as electric fault line detection system. This cat software monitors the flow of electricity through transmission lines and substations. When the operation is turned down, the step up transformer steps up the voltage and the current passes through the distribution lines and reaches the other substations. This cat software contains an alarm system which when, when a fault is detected in the line, an alarm is raised. Whenever there is a fault in the main circuit breaker, this, the fault can be due to a tree falling in the transmission lines or a bird hitting the transmission lines. When this fault takes place, the current supply to other substations stops and this an alarm can be raised and this can be viewed in the alarm window. And also whenever there is a fault in the ground line, the current for supply to the other substation also stops. Whenever the fault takes place, an alarm is raised stating that a fault is detected in the ground line and this process has to be solved and also when there is a fault in the circuit breaker 1 it cuts the supply to the substation 1 and automatically triggers an alarm so that it can be viewed on the scanner screen saying that there is a fault in the substation 1 and the process has to be solved as soon as possible and this process is the same for other circuit breakers that are connected to the other substations and whenever there is a fault detected it automatically triggers the alarm so that it can be viewed on the scatter screen and unnecessary actions can be taken place to rectify the fault. And also this scatter project can also be interfaced PLC. Here the scatter project is being interfaced with Allen Project's Micro 1200 and this project can be directly controlled from PLC also.